All right, guys, I've got something here that just came in. It actually looks pretty interesting and like it might work. Uh, someone actually sent me the link for this on Amazon. I went out and grabbed it, and it is a leaky... If some of you can make it through the package, or anti-theft lock for your brake pedal or your clutch pedal on your car. Um, there's not a lot of other instructions, but there is a picture kind of showing you how, you, how you, it works. It looks like you take this loop thing, place it over the top of your brake pedal or your clutch pedal, and then you take this, this detainer lock and you put it through one of these holes beneath it to keep somebody from depressing either of those two pedals. So I don't have a standard transmission. I have an automatic transmission, but I do have a brake pedal. I hardly ever use it, but I got it. Why don't I take this out uh, in the driveway, install this on my car, and then I'll, you know, try to give it a field test. I'll lay in the floorboard uh, in probably a pretty awkward position, find a way to get the camera pointed in the right direction, and let's see if I can't use this guy to try to pick it in the field. All right, guys, this is a horrible, horrible angle, but I think you can see that it went right over the top of my brake pedal. And then the lock is perfectly out of sight, kind of right behind it back there. So perfect for picking, no visibility at all. And it does its job. It prevents that brake from going down. So if you stole the car, you'd have like no brakes. So I'm going to try to position the camera as best I can. It is pretty tight down here. And it's also 96 degrees outside and more than that here in this car. And the other advantage is I really can't see anything behind that brake pedal so perfect position I know that probably wasn't you know part of their design planning it just played out that way I've just zeroed all the discs and now I'm going to hold on let me find my pick here try to line everything up like that and then find that hole right there we go Come on. Right there, I think. Nope. Come on, get in there. What's going on here? Well, it felt like it was in there. Am I not going in straight? I really can't see anything. I think that's it right there. All right, so I think I can hold it like this. I'm going to have to back it off a little bit to get the pick inserted in there now that I have to undo it a little bit. Get in there. Should have done that right up front. Get in there. All right, now tension it. All right, we're in the back. I really can't see. Can you guys see anything? <laughs> Let me move the light. I don't know if that's any better or not, but it's the best I can do, guys. I apologize. This is not a studio. That's perfect. That's right in my eyes. It's just the way I planned it. All right, now. About like this. There we go. All right, I'm gonna apply tension with my thumb. A little bit unusual, but I'm looking for a tensioning disc right there. Come on. Thought he was. Okay, he's not binding. Just free floating. Let's check the next guy. If nothing else, with all this sweating going on, this is a great weight loss program.
that's definitely the gate on that first one. Oop. That's a gate. That's definitely a gate. Felt like a gate. Yeah, I felt a turn on the core there. It is not open though. It's definitely a gate. Oh, I don't know if that's open or here we go. It is. Thank God. I'm dripping sweat all over the floorboard. Come out of there. I know it's open, I can see it. <laughs> what is holding me up here? There we go. All right, guys, there you go. That is, oh, goodness gracious. That is the leaky brake lock. Man, I'll tell you, this is this in situ stuff is killing me. I don't believe it's that much that difficult of a lock, but I tell you what, when you can't see it and it's back behind, you gotta reach around the brake pedal, it's quite different than picking it in the comfort of the bench, for sure. Uh, I don't believe this would be a viable issue, though. It's really difficult to get on, really difficult to get off, particularly in a, you know, this happens to be a Subaru, but probably similar to a lot of mid to small cars. So, unless it's gonna be for long-term storage, you know, I wouldn't be using this every day, but maybe long-term storage, or if I had something more exposed, like a piece of farm equipment, maybe a quad or something else where I could easily get at that brake pedal and there were no other, like a security chip built into your uh, ignition key, for example, this might be a good option. Anyway, guys, there you go. The leaky brake and clutch lock. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Whew, man, I am dripping sweat. Who would have thought a $14 brake pedal lock could have caused such a challenge? I mean, when this thing is in place, literally the brake pedal right there in the front, you're picking blind. You got to reach around behind it. Your hands are at a weird angle. Plus, it was w probably inside of that car more than 100 degrees today. I was really getting worried I wasn't going to get this thing open. But anyway, we got it. But at $14, you know, this really isn't much of a giveaway. So it's because of the size and the weight and the low value... Let me just push that out of the way. Instead, let's sweeten it up a little bit. This is all stuff from learnlockpicking.com. This is their ultimate challenge lock. It's the six pin challenge lock. All, obviously you see threads in there. We got a bag of all kinds of security pins and springs so you can pin this up however you want progressively as you can continue to learn. And because it's a six pinner, it has a little bit more open keyway to give you access to those pins. So for Beginners, this would probably be the learning, uh, the training lock of choice. So you get one of these, as I had brand new, and also donated by LearnLockPicking.com is this Lab 11-piece double-ended lockpick kit. And we're going to keep sweetening things because I'm so I'm so happy to be cooling down. Uh, this is a right-hand spinner. That's going to go with the giveaway. And last but not least. Lock, LearnLockPicking.com gave us a wood pinning tray. So when you take that thing apart, you can, rather than laying stuff out on a piece of cardboard, now you got this beautiful little wooden pinning tray to lay it all out on. That, guys, is the giveaway this week. You want to know how to register? Stick around. I'll tell you. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. All you need to do is navigate to LockLab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the Weekend Review Giveaway Purple Band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom. Put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys. <laughs>